one of the worst kept secrets in the NASCAR world has to be Cole Custer going to the Haas factory team next year in the cup side of things going full time. Racing for team owner Gene Haas and team president Joe Custer who has a very good relationship with Cole Custer because that is his father. And uh, this right here is going to have much higher stakes than it does in the Xfinity series if we're being honest here. It's just a reality. And uh, it's not going to look pretty if we're being honest here. Right now, yes, things are kind of Looking on the downtrend for Stuart Haas Racing, with a four-car organization, uh, you got Barry, uh, Gregson, Briscoe, and Priest. But next year, you're going to a one-car team. And that one-car team is not going to have the support that the team does right now. And I could very well see them in the back half of the grid battling teams like RCR, Legacy, and I can go on and on, and even the Wood Brothers. It's not going to look pretty at first, but you got to give it time. And uh, so I don't think Custer is going to go playoff racing next year. Hell, I don't think top 20s are going to be given to him. Top 30s, maybe. Uh, so it's going to be very tight next year. It's just going to be a big learning curve. Time will tell. And will they align up a big alliance with a team like Penske, RFK, front row maybe? I don't know. Uh, but time will tell there. But if they do, it will help out the performance uh, standpoint pretty big and uh, I believe it will make them much more competitive but for right now though if they're just going to be a team that's not fully supported they're going to be pretty bad next year for being honest here so uh, what's going to happen what do you think comment down below does Cole Custer and his team get to support and uh, go cut and go playoff racing more like or do they not and just ride around waste laps and just uh, sit in the back of the grid